Head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. This one um, about looking forward to where the Browns need to be when Deshaun Watson comes back. Yeah, hey, I have a comment and then like your response on it. I was just wondering here, the Browns are at 500 now. Do you think that they're supposed to stay at the 500 level before Deshaun gets back or not? Uh, like your comment on that, let me know. Thank you. All right, now Deshaun can come back and practice starting next week. Um, but to the caller's point, I think the thought has always been if they can be six and five, seven and four, they're in good shape. Yeah, he actually, I don't think he can practice starting next week. He can be back in the, the meetings. Building. Yeah. I think he's got to wait till November before he practices. Yep. Um, but yeah, I think six and five is the number, right? I think it's putting too much pressure on Watson to go, you know, four and two seems reasonable. Um, especially with the schedule the Browns have late, ask him to go five and one or six and zero. Oh, it's just too much. The guys have played in seven hundred days, so you know if you get to six and five, you can go four and two to finish. That gets you to ten wins. That's probably enough to get in the playoffs. Now, you know, again, I'd feel better if the Browns are three and one or four and zero, oh, and saying, okay, all you have to do is get to six and five, right? Um, the schedule gets harder, so now you got to go four and three. You got the Chargers, you got the Bengals, the Ravens, the Buccaneers, the Dolphins. Um, now, there's some games you can win in there. Now, like I said, if the Browns play at their best level, they can probably beat anybody. Um, but it's going to be tough. I, right now, I probably would not bet on them being 6-5 and five just because the schedule gets so much harder. Yeah, finding four wins in those next uh, games is going to be tough to do without question.